Today we're going to make some concrete pavers. I modeled the pavers by making a series of oval shapes. I then subtracted some of these ovals from each other to make something that looks kind of like a scale. I then rounded over the edges of the scale so they would feel nice on bare feet. Now I 3D printed these shapes to make the mold, but you can make these pavers without a 3D printer and I'll show you how at the end of the video. I hot glued the 3D printed pavers down to a piece of melamine. I then hot glued additional strips of melamine around this collection of pavers. I sealed up all the edges of the mold with hot glue. I then mixed some Mold Star 30, which is a silicone mold making material, and poured it right into the melamine form. When I came back the next day to check the silicone, I found that I hadn't put enough glue on one of the 3D printed pieces and it floated to the top. It's not that big of a deal though because the other three pockets all came out nice and clean. Now I used all different kinds of quickcrete to make these pavers. I started off using the countertop mix because I had a bunch of leftover bags, but quickcrete 5000 and just regular quickcrete also work really well. I mixed and poured the concrete and used a spoon to try to push the concrete into all the corners of the mold and then shook it and vibrated it a little bit to try to get out some of the air bubbles. You can use an orbital sander without a sanding pad to vibrate the forms as well. After letting the concrete cure for 24 hours, I just popped the pavers right out of the mold. Now I actually started this project way back in 2014 and about once a week we would take 15 minutes and make another batch of pavers and so slowly over time we accumulated a large supply of pavers in all different shades of gray. We mixed in some of the white concrete countertop mix in with the Quick Re 5000 so we'd have this nice gradient of these fish or dragon scale looking pavers. I used these pavers to make a patio and path out in front of my sister's workshop. The ground sloped away from the foundation of the workshop, so I used some bags of Quickcrete sand to help even it out and to create sort of a nice gentle ramp down to the ground level. I packed down the sand with a tamper and was ready to start laying the pavers. My plan is to make a meandering path from the workshop to the house, but we're still doing some landscaping, so I gotta wait for that to get done before I can finish curving the path around. I did, however, leave some little holes within the path of pavers so that grass and greenery would sort of grow up through the gaps. I really love the different shades of gray. It almost has sort of an Escher drawing kind of feel to it, and it feels great on bare feet. Now, whenever I do projects that involve a 3D printer, I get a lot of people complaining about, oh, I don't have a 3D printer, so it's not a DIY project. Well, there's always an analog way to make something. It might be easier with digital fabrication tools, but it's still possible. So, I decided to experiment with some modeling clay and see if I could make similar pavers using just clay and the same silicone molding making material. This is just normal plasticine modeling clay and I just used one of these mixing containers to sort of shape and outline the mold. I used a butter knife to kind of smooth over the edges and cut the clay where needed. If you want to make really big pavers, you could probably try using some cake pans to outline the shape. I used the same clay to make a dam around the paver shape and then mixed and poured some more Mold Star 30 into the clay. The clay doesn't stick to the silicone and just pops right out. So this technique worked great for making a mold for one paver, but that would be a lot of concrete pours to get to anything sizable. So I used a hot glue gun and paint sticks to glue some containers together so that I could make a repeatable template so I could make multiple clay pavers so that I could then make a silicone mold where I could make multiple pavers at once. I actually like the way these pavers look better. They have a kind of cool handmade texture to them. We're going to keep adding to the patio and path in front of Jessie's new solar powered workshop so be sure to check out her Instagram and her YouTube channel if you want to see updates. For more detailed instructions, check out my website, and if you want to see what I'm working on next, be sure to follow me on Instagram. If you want to hear more about the thinking behind the projects, you might be interested in my podcast, the Modern Maker podcast that I co-host with Mike Montgomery from Modern Builds and Chris Salamone from Four Eyes Furniture. I'll put a link to it in the description box below. If you want to know more about the concrete products that I use, be sure to check out quickcrete.com. Have a look at some of our other videos, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thanks. Bye.